in this lesson we are going to learn about the selection set functions. Autolist provides a few functions to select and store objects in AutoCAD. We are going to discuss them first one by one to have a basic understanding of their usage and syntax. Then we will explore further and see them in action in the next uh, lesson. They are as follows. First one is uh, ssget. This is the mostly used in the selection sets function. These functions create a selection set or a collection from the selected object. So the syntax for ssget is ssget then the selection method point one, point two, the list of points and filter list. All of these are optional. So you can either use only this part or only this part or only this part or only this part or only this part. They are all, they are all optional. The first one is, let's say the selection set method, we are going to use the crossing. So we are basically selecting the objects using the crossing commands from point 1 to point 2. We can also use any other selection method here like W for window or CP for the crossing polygon or F for fence or P for previous or L for last. So these are there are varieties of uh, selection method that you can use here. So if let's say we are going to use the filter list for example so we can make use of this uh, command here set qobjs ssget x this means that we are selecting the entire database where we are also selecting those in the layers that uh, are off or frozen or even out of the the visible AutoCAD screen so which means that X is you're selecting every single AutoCAD object and the return value is the selection set or nil if let's say there is no object set in, that's been selected so that's for the selection I mean for the ssget function next is the ssadd this function adds an object into a selection set or an existing selection set or basically it creates a new selection set if you add a new object into a ssadd variable so the syntax for ssadd is ssadd the entity name and the selection set so let's say you have an existing uh, selection set called SS you can add a new object or a new entity name and store it in a obj call variable which means the uh, selection set SS all of the objects inside the selection set plus the new selection set will be stored in the obj call uh, selection set so same thing the return value is selection set name or nil ssdel is the opposite of ssadd so basically this one deletes entity from the selection set so let's say the e name is one of the objects in the selection set SS. Once we issue the ssdel e name ss command, then it will remove the e name in the collection or in the selection set. So the return value is the selection set name or nil. ssmem. This function basically checks whether an entity is a member 
of or inside of the selection set. So this is the syntax for SSMEM. If the entity name is a member of the selection set SS, then it will return the selection set name. If it cannot find it inside the selection set, then it just returns nil. Next is the SS name. This function returns the entity's name of the indexed element of a selection set. The index starts with zero, which means that the first item in the selection set starts with zero index. So uh, let's say we have here the existing selection set. Then we specify the index, for example, zero. It will give us the first entity from the selection set. So zero, then it will return the first entity. So it returns the entity name or nil. Let's say we have only five objects in the selection set. Then we put the index more than five. Let's say we put six or even five since we start from zero, which means that it counts from zero to four for the four is the fifth object. So if we put here uh, five or six, then it will return nil. Next is the SS length. This function returns an integer that the selection set contains. For example, if the selection set has 15 objects, then it will return 15. This is very useful in doing a while loop or looping through the selection set and making the length as a conditional value to evaluate if the last object has already, already been processed. So these are all the mostly used uh, selection set functions. In the next uh, lesson, we're going to explore each of these functions in AutoCAD so we can have a better or a solid understanding of their actual usage. I'll see you in the next video.